What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, we're going to go back to a Mars photo. This one's pretty cool. It's it's like the epitome of anomaly, right? And what I mean by that is it's something that stands out from its complete surroundings, and I'm talking color and all. You guys are going to see what I mean. We're going to go back to Sol 1412, and of course you get the address to it right there, which you guys will get the link. You guys know that. All right. When I'm looking at this photo, I'm saying, well, you know, I'm just seeing the rocks. It's nothing spectacular. But is there something else in this photo? Let's have a closer look. Bring it way up to about, what is that, 200? Well, let's go 200%. All right. So we're looking at the photo here, and I'm not seeing any of any really value. It's just rocks. Uh, there are some kind of weird things you can tell they've drawn over, like this piece right here in the, in the middle of the screen. Let's say right there in the middle of the screen. Got this kind of box kind of look. Kind of goes down like this. But, like I said, one of their tricks is to put everything the same color. This way, you don't really see anything stick out. However, they failed or just didn't cover this one particular item. Which one am I talking about? This one here in the back. You see that? Right there. Okay. So let's jump into Photoshop and have a closer look. All right. Here it is here. And this is at, this is the size of the photo it was. Blow it up a little bit more for you guys so we can zoom in and it doesn't become a total trash. Okay, so let's have a closer look at this. Man, it looks like my van that was stolen in 1978. No, I'm kidding with you guys. But anyway, <laughs> look, at look at this thing, guys. What is that? Now, again, let's go back out. It's the only thing of that color. It is the only thing that has that weird shape. Nothing else in the photo does. Look at the way this thing does it. It goes like this. Comes down, corner, goes over, comes back down. There appears to be some kind of middle section here. And it might even do this. But take note of the actual sand and gravel literally look like they run right through it. So here's that middle section. It appears to go like this. Has this weird piece on the side. Which looks like it has these black areas here. I don't know if they're cutouts or complete squares. Not sure what to make of that. Looks like something's doing this here. Okay. And like I said, you can see this gravel. It literally runs through it. Like, this is some kind of framework, guys. What do you think this thing is? Now, let's go ahead and enhance this thing a little bit. Get back to the true colors of it. So, now it's a little bit uh, more natural. All right. Zoom back in. Guys, check this thing out. What the hell is that? Again, this part here. Again, doing this here. Seems to have this separation. Not sure what to make of that. And again, the way it's like this thing's on a hill and you can see it doing this. But whatever it is, the sand is actually filled inside this whatever this is, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but that does not look natural. It almost looks like there's a cutout here. Like you can see this right here. Does this, does this. And comes back down like this. So in other words, these areas right here look like they're cutouts, meaning there's nothing there. In other words, like I was kidding around about a van. So in other words, it's not an actual lens for your backlights, right? This is what I'm getting at. When you look at it, it has what looks like, like I said, this the shape of this object doing this. Like there's a centerpiece here. This could be a little straighter. And then it's doing this. And it's almost like way in the back, like it's, I don't know how to explain it, guys. But either way, it looks like some kind of designed object of some sort. And again, we're going across like this. There's something inside this. I don't know, right there, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a white piece there. So I'm not sure if that's actually, we're seeing out through the other side. What do you think? All right, let's go ahead and enhance this a little bit more. We'll keep going. And of course, I was trying to figure out if there was anything inside this area here. And didn't see a whole lot at all, to be truthful with you. But this is the one thing that stuck out. And I went over here to try to see if there's anything over here. And just look at the way these things are, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're seeing a lot of compression artifacts. But if you really check this thing out, look at the actual blurring. Look at this right here. Right down here. Down here. See the way this is doing this? Spotty blur. Like I said, guys, I think they have a tool that can just click, 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 click. It looks like an artifact as opposed to a blur mark. But when you pull back, you can see the difference in the, the actual quality. Look, you can actually see the blurring right here. All of this right here is completely blurred out. And then you can see what looks like detail over here. 
and everywhere else. You can see the detail. Why the hell is it so blurred out? Unless there was something that they were trying to hide. You should not have a spot blurring on a regular photo unless there's something on the lens, which would usually just be a spot, right? Not squared out like that. Okay, let's keep going on this. We're going to make this black and white. Check that out. Now, also take note, it seems to be there's something on top of this right here. You can almost see it doing this. Almost like this round feature. Going like this. In other words, this height to this item, whatever the hell that is right here, it actually has height. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There you go. This white round circle. You've got this weird, I don't know what to make of that, coming around like a wrap around. Has a circle with something white in the middle. And look at the way this bracketing or whatever this thing is right here. Okay, but yet we still have that item doing this. Now, is it possible there's more than one item? Absolutely. Now you can actually see this thing has this weird shape kind of thing going on. See that? And it's coming down like this. There's something again. Here's that middle part. And there's something behind this. But when you look at it, the more you look at this thing, it just gets crazier because you can see... Remember that white item I said, well, that could have been outside? Meaning through the other side of this thing? I don't know. I see something that kind of looks like it has this rectangular piece... This perfectly black line. Can you guys see that? Look at this. Let me just go ahead and zoom in right there. Has that weird line. Again, the square or rectangle area. Boom. It looks like this white piece. Or maybe a darker piece over here. Whatever the hell that thing is. That is bizarre as hell. Back out just a little bit. I don't want to too far in. And like I said. It appears to be doing this here. Now, I believe this is either one decent sized object. And a lot of you guys will say, hey, Chris, how come we can't get the size of this? Well, it is almost impossible unless they give us a scale, which they used to give us quite a bit, guys. You remember that? They used to give us all kinds of scaling on these, whether it be uh, outcropping of rocks, buttes, whatever it may have been. They used to have a scaling. Now they do not. Now, there's really no way to judge. I mean, we can look back here, but that doesn't mean anything. Remember when I showed what looked like those toys? I mean, they could be right here, and they're so small, so you don't really know how big this thing is. We back out, and there you go. This thing's way, way in the back there. So is it something quite large? It may be a decent-sized item. Can't be sure. Um, there's no way to really guesstimate that. But whatever that thing is, it is quite anomalous. That's what we see. That's the thing that stands out the most. I don't see anything else that looks green. I don't see anything else at all. Just this yellowish kind of looking stuff. Nothing more. That's it. Until you get in the back here. Do you A, think it's intelligently made first? And B, what do you think it is? Because I have no idea. It, it looks structural or some kind of something that's either structural or at least, at the very least, intelligently made. What it is, is anyone's guess. You guys be the judge. Tell me what you think that is. Just by the way this thing is shaped, the way it's designed, especially the side thing here, the shape of this thing alone. No, there's just too much going on that it doesn't look like it's natural. Let me see if we can... Find this blur for you guys. Let's see if we can really bring this spot blurring out. Look at this. It's a complete piece of garbage, guys. They literally were trying to take this out. Let's do this. Let's adjust the brightness and contrast. See what we can find in here. There you go. Look at the blur in this. Are you kidding me right now? And it's all over this darn photo. Even in the back, they tried to distort it, right? You can see right here, I mean, no matter how you adjust it, right here in the back it is completely without detail at all. It can't get much more blatant than that. Now, some people might say, well, those are compression artifacts. You should, if you're way back out like this, zoomed out, there's no way you should still see them compression artifacts. And yet we can see that pretty darn clear. Makes no sense at all, does it? Anyway, you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments and thoughts below. Like and please share, as always. Got to get the information out, right, guys? All right, guys, I also have some more Mars coming up, so stay tuned for that, as well as some more Moon.
Again, stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.